playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something in question, I'm jealous. No, yeah, I did. What I, I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Yeah. I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better than way you. Better. Get, 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 I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, when you put I, don't, I don't take personal yeah. shots. Oh, time you time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing at this year? Well, because you 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 just Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's it's just so, so it's you would just you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no. support him. No, well I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game, and it's by have far. It. Have it. Okay, take off, I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you. Good with it, YouTube is coffee on the vid. Back with another one, man. We got some sports slash NFL news update real quick, man. So hit the buttons and the comments. Let's talk. But kicking things off, you seen the clip skipping Shannon going viral, man. A little rift. I mean, listen, what do y'all think? Is this getting blown out of proportion? I mean, the dynamic between these two, why they're a, a popular show, why the people love them, I think kind of. I don't want to say they're controversial, like they bump heads, but they get into some heated debates. But uh, for everyone who watched the whole episode, I'm not going to front. I just seen this clip here. But uh, I mean, Shannon saying he's like, yo, you you taking personal shots. And I don't know, Skip, so I, I'm anything compared to Brady. He's the best ever, this, that, and the third. Like, I, I don't know. What do y'all make of this one, man? Is this just... Like, are they over this or, or do you guys think this is something that is going to like linger on and possibly fluck up the show? Um, a comment on it all below. Moving on, man. Ugh, my Bills. What up, Bills Mafia? Big game tomorrow. We're all pumped, man. Cole Beasley's back in town. I haven't seen anything today as far as him being activated to the to the roster for the game tomorrow. Um I don't know. I'm bringing y'all this on the fly. So again, guys, please comment or anyone that's new over here, like hearing from the people is what these videos are all about. You know what I mean? I don't claim to be no expert. I'm just kicking it with you guys. This is we're chopping it up. But Cole's back. Everyone's pumped, man. We got that W back against the Jets. Um, you know, Bills, we went through our struggles, blah, blah, blah. We've been talking about that. You know what I mean? We're Listen, we're 10 and 3. We're number one in the conference, and this is it. Like, I'm very confident we're going to go out there and get that W. But look at McDaniels, man, with his cornball ass. Like, get the fluck out of here, man. His show says I, shirt says I wish it were colder. Like, no, you don't, man. You know what I mean? And I see this little thing of, uh, from Tua. Talking about, oh, I ain't worried about snow. It snows in Alabama. Yo, someone commented and said it averages one inch a year. Okay, listen, if y'all don't know what lake effect snow is about, like for anyone wherever you live, you know what I mean? Detroit, Cleveland, uh, Minnesota, lake effect snow. You know what I mean? That that chilling freeze that comes through the air and hits you like a knife. You know what I mean? Stabs you. It's something different. That's aside from the snow. You know what I mean? Like, it's something different. You you ain't ready for it. You don't know about it if you don't know about it. You know what I mean? Like, a, a lot of cats don't understand when we talk snow in certain climates. Like, there's snow on the ground damn near all winter. You know what I mean? Buffalo is just different when it comes to that. And dating back to the Kelly Marino squish the fish rivalry days. Like, they used to come to Buffalo and freeze their ass off, you know? And... Listen, um, we got the job done last week in some cold weather. Um, shit, we get this number one seed as we control our own destiny. The playoffs is coming through Buffalo, you know, where everyone's going to have to deal with that 716 Western New York freezing cold motherfucking weather. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. These cats just getting cocky. I don't think they really understand what it's going to be like, man. But I, I want to hear from everyone. You know, tomorrow's game day. What do you guys think? Have you seen anything about Cole getting activated? Are you like me where McDaniel's just you're like, yo, shut the fuck up, man. Like so cocky over that damn W they got. Listen, they've been struggling. You want to talk about struggles. 
Tua has been exposed. Shout out to my bro, Jay Millie and the Niners, man. They made Tua look like a stone cold goofball like he is. So with that being said, drop your comments about the game and all that. Um, definitely going to be talking tomorrow about it. Go Bills. There was a time last year, and it really, it really killed me. And uh, I think uh, my son, you know, there was a there was a kid that came up to him and and uh, told him that he couldn't come to his his birthday party because his mom didn't like me. And my son had no idea what they have no idea what's going. On. I don't, I don't, we don't talk about anything political or anything. You know, there he's he was seven years or seven or six years old, seven years old at the time. And, uh, you know, we didn't involve them in that. So him hearing something like that, it was just like he had no idea why, though, you know. So it was it was difficult, man. Um, like I said, I just want to wanted to right a lot of wrongs around here and um, be with the teammates and play football again and, and just get back to football. What's up, man? You guys hear that? Uh, that's Cole kicking it at the press conference, man. He's back in town. Uh, definitely got to do some more content on this whole Cole Beasley press conference. But. How about that, man? You know, uh, as I've stated in other videos, man, Cole's, where it went bad with him in, in, in Buffalo and everything had a lot to do with all that Twitter-ish and him going in regarding the sickness, the treatment, league politics, as I stated in other videos. And um, it all went bad. It is what it is. It was what it was. He's back in Buff. We're all pumped about it. Check out my previous video if you haven't seen it yet. But bottom line, he wants to right wrongs. He wants to get back right with Buffalo. And um, I can't wait, man. You know, I, I can't. Like, I see individuals trying to downplay this signing. Listen, this is a big deal. They keep People keep throwing around the retirement thing. He was retired for, like, a couple months or whatever, you know. And it was just to get the fuck up out of Tampa because Brady was a bitch, y'all. You know what I mean? He's back in Buffalo back with the bros, back with the team that he helped build up to this point that we're at. As I stated before, this couldn't this couldn't go any better. This is almost like a storybook type of situation, you know, for him to leave, come back. Here we are, you know what I mean, ready to push on and get that ring. I love it, man. Super Bowl, y'all. Comment. Let's talk about it. I'm out of here, guys. Hit the comments on all these topics. And uh, don't forget to sub up. Jay Coffee Talk, talking music, news, sports, and more. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.